Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about st uh, creating uh, Java GUI programmatically. Uh, I have already created a tutorial series on creating uh, Java GUI with drag and drop, but this tutorial we will uh, create it uh, programmatically. We will write the code by ourselves. Now I have created this project, this Java string example, but I do not have anything inside this. If I show you the package, we do not have inside this anything. So I'll create a Java class in this so new Java class, and now I'll uh, name this strings example, and now I'll finish it. Now. In this tutorial, we will learn about uh, frame, J frame, and different properties of J frame. So first, we will create the main method inside this. So I'll use public static void main strings string args. And now I'll put curly braces here. Now we will create a J frame here. So J frame frame equals new J frame. Now we have created a new J frame. It is showing us an error because we need to import this and it is in the Java x dot swing dot j frame class so i have imported this now if i run this now you can see that the um, file is running we can see build success here but we can't see any frame here so for that we would use a method in this j frame set visible so for that i will use here frame dot set visible and here it takes a boolean value so I'll use true and now I'll put semicolon here now if I run this you now the program is running and you can see a small window here now if I close this now I've closed the window but the program is still running so uh, to close this frame completely we need another method so we will use that now so I'll press enter here and I will use frame dot um, set default close operation and here it takes j frame dot um, exit on close and now if I run this again now the pro program is running again so if I close this now the program will exit automatically now we will use the search size method of this uh, J frame so I'll close this and I will go down a bit and now here I will use frame dot set size and now it takes uh, a fixed width and height so I can give it uh, uh, 400 and 400 and now if I run this now you can see a 400 uh, cross 400 uh, J frame on your screen so now I will close this and now we will discuss the set location method of this frame so the set location method uh, will show our frame where we want it in our screen now I want it uh, 200 from this left as well as uh, 100 from the top so I'll use uh, frame dot set location and now here I will pass in 
200 so it will take 200 from this side and now 100 from top so it will take 100 from top now if I run this now you can see that it has taken 200 from this side and 100 from top and shown on the screen to this left side now I'll close this now uh, we have another method set bounds so which can do uh, both the work of the set size method as well as set location method so I'll comment these two and we will use the set bound method so I will press enter and frame dot set bounds and it takes the first value it will take from this left side so I'll want it 100 from the left side and then this is the top value so I want it uh, uh, 100 from the top and then this is the width and height so the width I want uh, 500 and the uh, height I want is uh, 700 and now if I run this now you can see that it is 100 from this left side 100 from the top and it's uh, with the width is uh, 500 and height is 700 so I'll close it down so now I want to change the uh, background of this uh, J frame so if I run it again run file so to change the background color we have to get this uh, uh, content area of this J frame so for that if I close this we will uh, create a container container equals j uh, frame dot git content pen semicolon now this container is showing error if I click on this it is in this uh, java.awt dot container package so I'll import this so now I will change the background of this container so I'll use cont dot set uh, background and it takes a color so I'll use uh, uh, color dot blue and now this color is showing error so we have to import because it is in the awt package so now uh, it is uh, the error is gone so if I run it again now you can see that the color of this uh, j frame become blue so I'll close this now if I run it again so now if I want to resize it so I can resize it I can resize it so we will um, remove this uh, property from this frame so no one will be uh, able to resize this so for that I will close this and uh, I'll go down here after this blue I'll press enter here and now I'll use frame dot set resizable and it takes a boolean value so if it is true so it is resizable and if I make this false so now if I run this so it will be not resizable now so now if I want to resize it now you can see that that arrow does not appear to resize it so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you